Namaste viewers, I welcome you all back on this national webinar series, Yoga Ramayana Vishwakosha History. We have with us Professor K. Subramanyam ji to speak about Sanketa Ramayana. Vande Sembhumuma Patim Suragurum Vande Jagatkaranam Vande Pannagabhushanam Sesidharam Vande Pasunam Patim Vande Surya Shashanka Vanninayanam Vande Mukunda Priyam Vande Bhakta Jana Ashrayan Chavaradam Vande Bhakta Jana Ashrayan Chavaradam Vande Sivam Shankaram Sri Raghavam Dasharathatma Jama Prameyam Sita Patim Raghukulan Vayaratna Deepam Ajanubahu Aravinda Dalayataksham Ramau Nishachara Vinashakarau Namami Esteemed friends, in our series of Sanketa Ramayana, this is the last. We are all human beings. By nature, we seek protection. We want to be looked after by somebody. We want to be taken care of. We want to be given abhaya hasta by somebody. The baby looks at the mother for protection. The child looks at the mother for abhayam, for food, for protection, for everything. We the human beings seek protection. Nirbhayatvam we want somebody to offer protection. The husband seeks to have good food from his wife. The wife seeks protection from her husband. The entire mankind would be seeking protection from the superhuman powers, from nature. We are by nature seeking that abhayam. And here comes the great personality Sri Ramachandra Prabhu. And he comes with the assurance, with the promise Abhayam dadami sarva bhuteshu yetat vratam mama. Why do we love Ramayan? Why do we glorify Rama? Why do we defy him? We salute him, we worship him, we admire him, we adore him because of his that single quality Abhayam dadami sarva bhuteshu. Whatever may be the species, I offer my Abhaya Hasta to everybody. He gave protection to Jatayu, protection to Shabari, protection to Sita, protection to his brothers, protection to Vibhishana. He gave protection to Sugriva. His very character is such that he is capable of offering Abhaya Hasta to everybody. Abhayanda Dami. By nature, we want that and by nature, Sri Rama gives it. So, Sri Ramachandra Prabhu is symbolic of Abhaya Hasta. His very hand is Capable of giving us the hand when we are in distress. He offers his helping hand. Protective hand. Abhaya Hasta. And today, Sri Rama is God because he gives us 
that abhaya hasta in the bhagavad gita we find this quality this divine quality of god offering protection mama maya duratyaya man the maya i have created is hard for you to overcome it's very difficult mam eva prapadyante maya metam tarantite man fall at my feet surrender at my feet i shall take you away from the clutches of maya this brahma this bhranti this illusion this infatuation this arishadvarga kama krodha lobha moha mada matsaryadi evils vices difficulties all of them will be shattered if only you fall at my feet mama maya the maya created by me worked out by me held at you will not be shattered by your energies if only you offer yourself at my feet in self surrender i shall take care of you one assurance of the god in the bhagavad gita second time he says ananyas chintayanto mam ye janah paryupasate tesham nityabhi yuktanam yoga kshemam bahamyam whoever thinks of me always whoever remembers me always whoever is established in me always whoever does manana japam always of me ananya chintayanto mam chinta is to think of me will be taken care of by me how yoga kshemam bahamyam i shall take care of his welfare well being whoever has faith in me whoever has trust in me will not come to distress i shall protect him i shall safeguard him i shall elevate him i shall lift him i shall remove him from the misery of all sufferings this is the wonderful assurance that shri krishna paramatma gives in the bhagavad gita ananya chintayanto mam ye janah paryupasate tesham nitya abhiyuktanam yoga kshemam vahamyam i shall take the responsibility vahamyam of what your yoga kshema and again in the last chapter of the bhagavad gita the great charma shloka it says sarva dharman parityajyamam ekam sharanam raja aham tva sarva papebhyo mokshayishyami masuchah i shall relieve you i shall release you i shall grant you moksha whatever may be your evils sarva papebhyo even if you are a sinner it's not necessary that you should be a virtuous person it's not necessary that you should be a punyatma it is enough if you trust me surrender yourself at my feet even if you are a sinner wholesale sinner i shall take you off i shall liberate you mokshayishyami masuchah no doubt about it in the bhagavad gita on many occasions shri krishna parmatma declares his assurance to mankind that we all will be protected if only we surrender and shri ramachandra prabhu wonderfully he says no condition at all i am here i am born i am in the forest i am in the bhuloka only to do one particular job and that is abhayam dadami i shall offer my protection to everyone fearlessness to everyone what is it we want after all in life we want somebody to say why fear i am here why fear i am here i look at my mother why fear i am here my boy don't worry my father says why fear don't worry i am here lord venkateshwara says why fear i am here krishna says why fear i am here rama says why fear i am here man or woman 
boy or girl, small or young, we people need protection. We need shelter. We go to an organization, we go to an institution, we go to a country, we go to a family, we go to a job. What for? Protection. Abhayam. Welfare. Well-being. Somebody to, to take care of us. Somebody to look after us. And in the Ramayana, you find Sri Ramachandra Prabhu as the symbol of Abhayam Dadami, giver of fearlessness, right from the first to the finish. Everywhere we find Sri Ram offering that protection. When Ravana came to the battlefield, his crown was lost, his chariot was broken, his charioteer was killed, he was helpless, he was standing at the mercy of Ramachandra Prabhu. Any other person in the place of Sri Ram would have killed him. But Ram looked at him. My dear Ravan, I shall not exploit your helplessness. I shall not kill you. Go. Go home. Be with your wife. Come tomorrow reformed. You will be saved. My principle is to protect. Abhayandadami. When Vibhishan came seeking protection, Jambavan did not like Vibhishan to be offered protection. Nala, Neela, Angada, Sugriva, almost every character said no, 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 no. Only Anjaneya Swami affirmed. Sri Ramachandra Prabhu readily came and offered protection to Vibhishana. You take any character in the entire Ramayana, Sri Ramachandra Prabhu is known for his generosity, for his humane nature, kind nature, compassionate nature, merciful nature to save people only when it is incorrigible. He has resorted to surgery only to reclaim. The doctor does the operation not to kill the patient but to remove the ailment. Similarly, if at all Sri Ramachandra Prabhu gave a punishment to anybody, it is not actually a punishment. It is only a remedial step to reclaim the person who has been wrong. Such is the kindness of Sri Ramachandra Prabhu. Now we come to the story when Sri Ramachandra Prabhu is a symbolic of giving protection Abhaya Hasta. What for does Sita stand? What for does Anjaneya stand? We know the story from Panchavati. Ravana came and took away Sita Devi, kidnapped her. He put her in Lanka, imprisoned her in Ashokavana. Not a day or two, about a year, she was alone amidst demonesses, cruel people harassing her, troubling her, mentally torturing her. Every day Ravana would come, threaten her, tempt her. It was not to her liking. Sita is the individual jiva. How often we are lost in the lurch. How often we are rushed to the tightest corner, pushed to the tightest corner. The worst predicament. When we are in danger. When we are in distress. When we are in the tightest corner. When we are in the greatest trouble, what do we do? Anyatha sharanam nastitvam eva sharanam mama. The baby cries, shouts, amma. Even after several years of mother's death at this age, when I am in distress, I say, amma. Amma is solace. Amma is protection. Amma comes to my rescue to relieve me of the tensions. 
same is the case with a, a jiva crying to have protection for paramatma gajendra is a symbolic of that jiva he shouted he cried he wept tanuvundasen nive tappa nitah param berung rave ishwara kavave varada samrakshinsu bhadratmaka deenunin there is nobody else to come to my rescue amma rama krishna shiva govinda achyuta madhava janardana we cry 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 and jeeva is that sita just imagine ourselves in the position of sita devi no communication she does not know whether rama knows her whereabouts she does not know whether ramachandra prabhu has returned to ayodhya or not she does not know whether ramachandra prabhu is coming to lanka or not she does not know whether rama is alive or not she is alone thanu un dasan nive tappa nitah param berunga ananyas chintayanto man all the 24 hours while breathing in and breathing out in every heart beat there is only one thing ram 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 sita was doing when she was repeatedly remembering ramachandra prabhu constantly thinking of ramachandra prabhu is it not the responsibility of rama to come to the rescue of sita ananyas chintayanto ma when the baby cries cries and cries లావుక్కింతయు లేదు ధైర్యము విలోలంబయ్య ఠావుల్ దప్పే మూర్ఛ వచ్చే తను ఉండ సెన్ గజేంద్ర వాజ్ వీపింగ్ క్రయింగ్ షౌటింగ్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ ది రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ ది లార్డ్ విష్ణు సిరికించప్పుడు శంఖ చక్ర యుగముం చేదో ఈ సంధింపడు వితౌట్ టెల్లింగ్ లక్ష్మి వితౌట్ ఆస్కింగ్ గరుడా టు కమ్ అండ్ గెట్ ది వెహికల్ రెడీ ఫర్ హిస్ జర్నీ టు సేవ్ ది భక్త he rushed similarly mother rushes to the baby husband rushes to the wife mother rushes to the child and god rushes to the devotee sri ramachandra prabhu is thinking only of sita even jeevas may forget ram but ram does not forget the child may forget ram but not uh, mother forgetting the child such is the affinity the relationship between the deity and the devotee the more sita is thinking the more rama is worried about sita's whereabouts now sita stands for jeevatma the individual bhakta the distressed devotee she is crying pining 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 all the 24 hours you cannot imagine the devotion remembrance that sita has for ramachandra prabhu not a day or two every day every moment she was thinking only of ram 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 and how can rama be peaceful how can rama be happy when the child is crying when the wife is weeping when the devotee is in distress and ramachandra prabhu was also there thinking of sita rama is paramatma parandhama paratpara daivam devata swarupam bhagavat lakshanam abhayanda dami is his quality and now it has to be extended to sita devi who is crying ananyas chintayanto ma she is crying and he is crying who is to connect them both you know it is uh, the man in delhi who is to come to my rescue how does he convey the message there must be somebody to connect the devotee and the deity and that is uh, anjaneya swami guru acharya shastra nature anubhavam it is the nature who tells you the way it is the master who shows the marga 
it is the acharya who paves the way and uh, when rama was uh, thinking of sita devi when sita devi is crying for ramachandra prabhu anjaneya was readily available the connecting link the guru he went to ram ram looked at anjaneya my dear anjaneya you are going to the south southward journey you are making in search of sita devi jata you told me that ravana had taken sita away in southern direction you are going to the south you are most likely to see sita in south here is my angulika you take it when you find sita give it to her the ring is to the right hand right hand is the abhaya hasta hand offering fearlessness rama's right hand right palm right finger has the ring symbolic of abhaya hasta rama is thinking of sita and it is his duty to offer protection and that abhaya is indicated by the angulikam angulikam is a ring and the ring is put on the on the right finger of the right hand he offers it that is carried by anjaneya swami from rama to be given to sita devi it is nothing but a sanketa of god giving protection to the bhakta that is carried by anjaneya swami the master the acharya the guru the shastra the nature and it is given to the pining suffering distressed dejected lady jeeva sita she in turn thank you my master thank you my dear acharya for bringing the news of the abhaya hasta of my lord and i must convey back the message of my self surrender here is my chudamani chudamani is the head ornament i offer my all at the feet of the almighty chudamani is the head ornament i give myself my head is at the feet of sri ram please take it back tell him show him of my self surrender sita devi is that individual jeeva offering has all or her all at the feet and that is the significance of chudamani being given to anjaneya swami this acharya take it would take it back and give it to sri rama rama is god angulika is the symbol for abhaya hasta anjaneya is that conveyor conveyor he would bring it from ram and give it to sita sita in turn would offer it to sri ramachandra prabhu through her chudamani <coughs> showing self surrender the whole episode is nothing but sharanagati shastra abhaya hasta of ram and sharanagati of sita these two are connected by acharya anjaneya let us understand sri ramachandra prabhu's abhaya hasta as a sanketa may we all by the grace of god almighty learn to surrender our all at the feet of the almighty to enjoy the protection from the god mangalam kosalendraya mahaneya gunatmane chakravarti ತಿತನು ಜಯ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮಯ ಮಂಗಳ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮಯ ಮಂಗಳ 
Thank you, Professor K. Subramaniam Ji, for speaking about Sanket Ramayana. We'll meet again tomorrow. Namaste.